up everyone and welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you guys uh, my updated makeup routine it hasn't changed that much since my last makeup routine but you guys loved my last one and you guys are always asking for a new one so i'm just giving you guys a little updated one on how i get a smooth base how i make my makeup last all day the techniques that i use the products that i use to to look like this so without further ado, let's just get on to Personally, me, I like to start with my eyebrows because it gets a little bit messy and then I prep my skin because I end up having to clean up the gel all over my eyebrows. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyebrows really quickly. So I use the Got To Be Glue and a Real Techniques little eyebrow brush. I like this one. this one. I have like a pack of them, but this one's my favorite one because it comes with this little spatula, which works really well to set your eyebrows down. And personally, me, I like a little bit of a longer spoolie. I have my hair in there. I like a little bit of a longer spoolie, but we're just going to use this one for the day because the other ones are a little dirty right now. But what I like to do is I like to just squeeze a little bit out. And then, as you can see, I have like a good amount in there. And I just rub it on the lid. Just so I can get a nice even flat amount. Just like that. Then I start just by combing the gel through. Then I just brush my eyebrows upwards like so. Get the spatula side. You could also just grab like the like brush or something. Um, really anything just to flatten down your eyebrows. And this will really keep them in place. And then once again, I go through and just brush them out. And then... Sometimes I don't get it right the first time. But I smooth out the top so that it's straight. And that is basically how my eyebrow comes out. Then you can get like some micellar water, a little tissue. I just get a little makeup wipe and I clean around my eyebrows because i get gel everywhere on my face and if you don't clean it up your makeup is going to be all crusty in the areas where you left gel on your face and it might start to peel away so just make sure you clean the area and those are my gelled eyebrows so now i conceal my eyebrows and i use the tarte um ultra creamy shape tape i use this brush and it's this shape it this brush has been through it and it is a color pop brush um i have loved this brush for a long time i love like doing my eyebrows with it um and i've tried using newer brushes or different brushes and they just don't hit the same so this one my favorite and i like how it's rounded because you can easily get your arch zoom in a little for you guys but i kind of like to look down and i just conceal that part and then So this will be the part where I fill in my eyebrows just in case I mess up just to add like some concealer over it. But I usually don't fill in my eyebrows. Sometimes I do. But I honestly just pluck them and they're pretty even. Thank goodness. So I'm not going to fill them in today. I'm just going to blend out the concealer. I blend out my concealer with this Real Techniques little brush. And I kind of just pat the line until it's completely diffused. And it's not like a harsh... Just the line right there if that makes sense the eyebrows are nice and concealed and i'm right now my under eyes are red because i just got my eyelashes in and they get a little bit irritated but yeah and then i just blend out the sides just like that and then the eyebrows are done so now skin prep is super important for having a smooth face as you guys already know um i make sure i moisturize it's really important to know what cut what type of skin you have personally me i have like I have combo skin, but my skin is really dry out the shower, so to avoid any cakiness or any dry patches, like any makeup getting clean to dry patches, I make sure I moisturize with a really thick moisturizer. And to keep my makeup on, I'm going to use the liquid poreless putty primer. You can also just use a regular putty primer. Um, I recently started using this again, and I honestly really like it. It does smooth out your skin a lot. I put that on my nose. Uh, 
Um, I'm breaking the rest of it out to my cheeks. I use the Power Grip Primer. You can also use the Pink Hyaluronic Acid Power Grip Primer. I just squirt it and then tap it into my face. And this really helps to keep your makeup on all day. You just wait a little bit for it to get tacky. So I'm just going to grab a fan and just fan my face for a few seconds just to make sure the primer is dry. I saw this girl on TikTok stick this primer onto her face and I want to try it. It actually sticks. <laughs> so now that I know that my primer is dry for sure, we're going to start. That, that's all the skin prep that I usually do. Um, Now I'm going to go ahead and start the base. Personally, I love to start with the Halo Glow. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow in the first shade. You can also use the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, What is it called? The flawless filter or whatever you want. Personally, me, I just like to use this one. It's super good. It honestly does make a difference in the way your makeup looks. It looks super more smooth and it just makes your skin overall look healthier. I just like to blend this out with a beauty blender. So next what I like to do is foundation. And I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I also mix it with a little bit of the Pretty Fresh foundation. Because this is the shade 200W. And I got this when I was a little bit more tanner. And then this is the shade Fair 20N. Which I use because it's kind of lighter for me. So I just mix these both together. And um, personally, if you do want a higher end foundation, this is a really good foundation. I love it. Um, or this one, if you want a more drugstore foundation, is like $15. It's also super good. Um, I used to use this one when I had my shade, but I currently don't have my shade. So I'm just using these two mixed together. On the back of my hand, I'm going to add like a pump of the Anastasia one. And a pump of the Pretty Fresh, like half a pump, not a whole, not a full pump. I think that might be a little bit too much. Then I get this um, Morphe and REL A119 brush. I use this side right here. And what I do is I just mix these foundations together. And paint it on my face. Once I kind of have my face covered in it, I like to get a foundation brush. I use this Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. And I blend this in by just tapping it in. I don't like the finish a brush gives you. So I get my beauty sponge. This is the Juno & Co. Microfiber Sponge. If you're not using a microfiber sponge, get yourself a microfiber sponge immediately. It, makes such, it gives you such a soft, matte, natural finish. Um, and I just go around my whole face just one time just to smoothen out all the lines from my brush so now i have a really smooth nice base to start off with and now i'm gonna move on to bronzer um i have this hourglass i don't know if it's a bronzer stick or a contour stick but it is just this stick um an almond and i also really like the halo glow beauty wand from e.l.f. These are usually my two options. Today I'm going to use the hourglass one. Um, it's a little bit more pigmented. But just because I just want to. I don't know. There's no particular reason. I just want to use this one today. I also really like the e.l.f. putty bronzer. But I do see. I do find that like having a stick. Is just a little bit easier. When it comes to just the application and blending it. Um, but the putty bronzer. Don't get me wrong. Is also still one of my favorites. I get a dense brush like this, and dense brushes are always good for blending out cream products like this. Um, and I just kind of dab this all over my face. I know a lot of people struggle with the placement of your bronzer and everything. Personally, me, I have a pretty round face, and this is just how I apply mine. Is down here, and then right here, I kind of leave my under eye like triangle area open with no bronzer there. And I kind of leave like maybe like an inch and a half away from my nose with no bronzer and it looks a little crazy right now but don't worry i'm gonna end up cleaning that up with concealer and then i also so it's okay if your bronzer looks a little bit crazy we're gonna clean it up i just grabbed the same concealer that i used to conceal my eyebrows and this is in the shade 125 um ultra fair and i put it along these places right here to clean up my bronzer i also put it in the in the center of my face in these three areas in these three areas to brighten up the center of my face then i'm gonna grab my juvia's place concealer in 24 i think it's the lightest shade 
And um, this is just a brightening up my under eyes. I put it in the center right here. I'm kind of running out, so we're going to double dip in here. And then as well as up. Then I'm going to grab my Tarte Concealer because I like the coverage of this one. And bring this down my nose. And then in the middle, I use a lot of concealer. That's why I don't like putting... That's why I don't like putting... um foundation under my eyes because I use a lot of concealer under my eyes. Blending it out, I make sure I stay along the side of my nose and then across. And then up. I go up into my hairline. My go-to liquid blushes currently are the e.l.f. Putty Blush as well as the um, e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. And this one is in the shade Rose You Slay. So I love both of these. Um, today I'm going to end up using the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I mean the e.l.f. Putty Blush. Because um, I like this color. It's, this color is Turks and Caicos. And this is my favorite, favorite liquid blush shade. I'm using the Putty Blush like stippling brush from e.l.f. I place it right on top of my bronzer. I just bring it a little bit higher up. So I do the same thing. I leave the triangle area right here like empty and then about one and a half inches away from my nose. And then I also like to add some blush onto my tip of my nose just so my nose is not so lonely. Now that that is done, we are going to use powder. And to avoid creasing under your eyes, I use a pressed powder under my eyes first. And this is 110 Porcelain. Um, I use this one because it's a shade lighter than my normal shade. So I like a brighter under eye and that's why I use a brighter shade. And then I also use um, a shade lighter than my shade in the Fit Me Loose Powder. So I use a Fit Me Pressed and Loose. Um, I love this powder so much. Grab a powder puff. This powder puff is from Shein and I lightly rub into the powder and i pat it into my under eyes so now that my under eyes are set i grab the loose powder and i dab this into my under eyes and do a light bake under my eyes this really secures your under eyes and trust me you will not have no creasing then i grab my normal shade which is 120 and i'm gonna need a new one but literally every time i go they never have it i literally just bought this one too and i set my smile lines with this powder And then I'm going to go ahead and get the loose powder. I just used the same one that I used under my eyes. And set my smile lines because that's the one place I actually do crease a lot because I laugh a lot and I smile a lot. So I'm just putting that on there. And I grab 120 again and just pack that all over my face. So now I'm going to get this little Real Techniques under eye. Or I just, it's not an under eye brush. I don't know what brush it is. It's a setting brush. So I think it is for your under eyes. But it just looks like that. And then I'm going to dust off any rest of the powder that I have there. What I, with whatever is left, I set my, my eyes because I have eyelash extensions. So That is the finished set base go ahead and do my blush and i use the juvia's place volume 2 sometimes i mix both of these today i'm only going to use the orange one though and then i'm also going to mix that with the kylie blush in crush love this blush literally you're going to hear me talk about it a million times um i've asked so many times if anyone if anybody knows a dupe for this color because kylie doesn't make this shade anymore and if i ever run out i'm literally gonna lose my mind so hopefully i get obsessed with a different blush soon so i'm gonna go ahead and mix these two shades together and i'm gonna use this dense real techniques blush this is a tapered cheek brush and i like to use a dense brush because i really like to pack on my blush so i dap it in just like this and that's how i get such a pigmented blush So then I just add a little bit onto my nose, just whatever's extra on there. 
Um, so now that I patted all the blush that I want onto my cheeks, we're going to blend it out a little bit more. Just so it's not so harsh, I'm going to get this Palethi Luxie 514 brush. I love this blush brush. And I'm just going to kind of diffuse the blush. But I'm going to get a little... This is the makeup... Um, I mean the Ariel and Morphe A3.2 brush. And I'm going to use my Kylie bronzer in khaki. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of bronzer on my forehead. Just to set the powder bronzer. Add just a little, little bit on my cheeks. I'm just going to grab a fluffy blending brush. From, this is the A11 Morphe and Ariel. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on my eyelid just to add a little bit of color to my eyelids. I just dip it in once and then run it through my whole crease. I have a little pencil blending brush. It looks like this. And this is the Morphe M507 brush. And then I run that along my under eye and then connect it to the outside right here of uh, where I winged out the bronzer and I get this AOA Studios E134 brush it looks like this and I just throw that into my inner corner how many carrots Fenty Beauty highlighter and throw this also into my inner corner and kind of drag it along to meet the bronzer underneath my eye so I kind of just drag it down here and add a slightest bit on my cheeks. Just because since it's summertime, the when the sun is on my face, I like to glow. But usually in the wintertime, I just skip highlight. Besides, in the wintertime, I only do highlight in my inner corner. I'm going to use this NYX. This is my handy dandy NYX and New Truffle. This is my favorite holy grail lip liner. I use it literally almost every single day. My favorite setting spray is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm not going to put it on today because I just did my eyelashes today and I don't want to spray um, this on them. But I usually do use that one. I usually don't wear makeup on the days where I just get my eyelashes done. But I wanted to film this video for you guys. So that's the final look basically. Um, that's the final base. That's how I get a really smooth face. Can you guys see? I've done this routine on many different face shapes and tones. I've um, done it on my cousin. I've done it on my friend. And everyone always loves the way that their makeup comes out. So I hope you guys love the way your makeup comes out when you guys do this routine as well. Um, but yeah, that's. I hope that this was everything you guys wanted. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how I get a smooth base. And my base routine or whatever. So I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.